Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today we are going to dissect this neck that we got from Amazon and uh, see what kind of truss rod it has in it. So I used to work for a guy a long, long time ago who said that import guitars always had sucky truss rods. Actually, he said shitty truss rods, but that's beside the point. So I bought this neck on Amazon many, many months ago. And actually, in one of the live streams, we tightened the truss rod so much that I think we cracked some things and we, we cracked part of the neck. So this neck is basically dead. And I want to cut all of the wood away from the truss rod and actually see what kind of truss rod it has in it so and how it is mounted. Um, so we're going to do that with the help of my bandsaw and then we're going to look at it and then we're going to talk about it. But enough with the bullshit talk, let's start cutting. So Chris was just saying that this neck was already twisted when we got it, but um, we're going to dig into it. Boy, it sure popped up right there. Whoop. It must it must be loaded way down. Cause it wants to come out of the Yeah. Come out of the slot. Let's twist it till it pops out. I think I might sand some of this uh, okay. some of this material off. All right, so we got as much of the material off as I think we need to to get it out. Let's, um, it wants to come. You can see it's already popping out. Right there. Jeez, how many, t <laughs> how many turns did we give this damn thing? I think we need to get in there with a prying bar. Jeez, to Pete. Well, it's not the same as our bitterroot rod. This one just does not want to come out. I wonder if they glued it in. I don't know. I'll take it over the bandsaw and <laughs> cut it really close. I don't know, I kind of want to bandsaw the least amount. Yeah, there you go. There we go. It sounded like it was glued in. It might have been. It might have had some glue on it. That might have been why it wasn't as effective as, as yeah. it should have been. Maybe not. All right, so this is the rod that we took out of our Amazon neck here. And it is very similar to our bitterroot rod, but not exactly the same. Um, you can see right here, this is the Amazon rod, and this is the bitterroot rod. You can see some differences in the, uh, the case, this thing here. And the, uh, the, the, the nut is, it's, it's still a two, two piece or two way rod rather. Dig this too. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I hold it like this, mm -hmm. you can, you can really see it. This adjustment nut is actually bent. And I, when I saw it, I thought, well, maybe it's just bent because, um, when I was removing it, I bent it, but I actually think so that. It, it goes in there and then it bends so that you can get a wrench into, um, into this, this guy here. Because without a little scooped out area there, you wouldn't be able to get 
our rod, you wouldn't be able to adjust it. So Chris wants to know what, now that it's out, how does it, does it still move? So let's, let's have a peek. It still does everything it's supposed to. Oh, my clamp's giving up the ghost here. Yeah, this, this truss rod is, uh, is still fully operational. So with all the plastic removed, when I, when I go to tighten this rod, it moves it. And when I loosen it or turn it the other way, it, it moves it the other way. So this rod is, uh, is actually holding up very, very well. This is a, I think this is a perfectly acceptable truss rod for, um, for any, I'm not gonna put this in anyone's guitar. But I think this is a good this is a good truss rod. Now, the neck wood, on the other hand, leaves a lot to be desired. It was twisted and bent and just kind of just kind of sucky. The headstock didn't really match anything, um, but uh, it looks kind of it's definitely something that that Fender would get upset with. Um, but it, like the whole patterns don't match. It's not exactly a true strat headstock. It's just kind of a cheap knockoff. But the, uh, the truss rod is still good. I'm going to use this truss rod and this neck in my various truss rod lectures. And maybe one day I'll do one in video form. Chris is like, oh, no, don't do that. Um, everybody who comes to one of my uh, Build a Guitar class gets my truss rod lecture. And it is definitely the low point of the day. So uh, if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board and keep you posted on all the new videos that we've got coming out. We do fun stuff like this all the time. And speaking of fun stuff like this, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys neat stuff like this. But if you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Just share this video as many places as you can possibly imagine and help us grow the channel that way. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, y'all.